Oh, hi. I didn't notice you there. I'm busy uh, putting together the next exciting, groundbreaking episode of Two for Ofu. Oh, I see you noticed my pet rock. I've had him since the 1970s. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the pet rock was invented by a guy who figured out a way to make millions of dollars off of stupid people. I guess the good news is that in today's enlightened age, we're way too smart to fall for something like that again. Now, I'll be with you in just a second. I have to check on how my NFTs are doing. When Kali and I were preparing to move to American Samoa, we had to tear apart our apartment and decide what we were gonna take with us and what we weren't gonna take with us. Imagine my surprise when I opened up my underwear drawer and found my pet rock from the 70s loyally waiting for me to come and play with it. So the pet rock made the move, I threw it into a box, and a scant 90 days later it arrived here on Ofu. So why do I have my pet rock from the 1970s here with me in Ofu in American Samoa? Good question. When I found my pet rock languishing in my underwear drawer where it spent most of the last 40 years, I decided I would bring it with and give it a much better, more fitting forever home. So today, Colleen and I are going to walk down to the National Park of American Samoa and place my pet rock on the reef where it can live forever and become part of the ecosystem. Let's go.
favorite snorkeling spot right before it's about to rain, but that's no matter because we're going to go out here and get in the water, get wet, and get my pet rock. It's forever home somewhere out here in the South Pacific.